Well, it's turning out to be a really beautiful day. Gutters full of pine straw, carnage, just debris. I hate gutters, guys. Yeah, fitting just is, is shot. Replace it. That's one thing I despise, dirt daubers. Good morning, YouTube. This is Devin Burris with PowerShine Pressure Washing here in Valdosta, Georgia. We are actually in Hayhira today. This house, the roof, the gutters, concrete right here. 200 feet of hose pulled all the way around here to the back. A brand new SGS28 stainless steel easy pull gun with built-in swivel. It's relatively, relatively dirty. This concrete's nasty. So yeah, gutters are full there. Got dirt dauber nests, mold buildup, all of that fun stuff. I'm gonna get the ladder over here. And there is some debris in the in the corners of the roof, which I'm gonna try and blow some of that down, but that's not really included in what I'm doing. I'm just doing a roof treatment here today. So this is what we're dealing with, just gutters full of pine straw. So I'm gonna reach up here as far as I can, but like I said, we're not gonna get all of this down. I'm not getting up on this roof. Um, it's too too steep for me. I'm uh, not that brave. It is currently 927. Look at the bird. Pretty bird. Maybe I won't bleach any more baby birds. 12 seconds later. Gutters are done, and there's an absolute carnage just debris down here on the ground i'm gonna blow all this off into the bushes i hate gutters guys i'm like a squirrel when it comes to flowers beautiful hydrangeas i absolutely despise gutters so glad that that's over with kind of show you guys what we got going on up here it's all cleaned out now so we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off down here surface clean this wash the house and then wash our way around the front of the house and surface clean sidewalk up there and then i'll come back and i'll shoot the roof i say it like it's not going to take me a long time even though i know it is it is 10 5. off as you can see this was really really heavily soiled really really dirty cleaned up all these steps for them some mold that's actually embedded here that stuff is not going to come off with just pressure so when we're back here shooting the roof i'm going to put a hot mix on all this it'll take all the striping off kill that mold get rid of it put a six percent here I'm about to start washing the house finally i got a clump of pine straw and mess on the roof here place the ladder here and shoot this section of the roof so i'll be able to reach that and pull it down no problem i got my surface cleaner laid out here we're going to surface clean this sidewalk for them just waiting on chemicals now there we go we got a little bit of got a little bit of bleach go ahead and put a pre post treatment whatever you want to call that it's not the post treatment just a little house wash let that sit there while I'm washing the rest of the house and then I'll come back and put a roof wash mix on it. A pre-post. I'm going to start over here. Right up on them 
nasty gutters. thing is, is if you ever done gutters where a pergola is you know that the absolute worst gutter is going to be the one right above the pergola that's going to be the worst one because nobody ever cleans it because nobody wants to clean it because the pergola is there so yeah that was the worst one of course well, it's turning out to be a really beautiful day out here on this second side. I had to do a second application. Chemicals over here by this fence and this window, there was some dinge still there. Not sure if that's staining or if it's a different color paint because everything else that was on here is not on here anymore. I am taking this weekend off. Me and my family are going to the beach. Catch me catching some waves. Relaxation. We haven't been to the beach in, oh, I don't know, two years or so. Let me rinse this down. Nasty. How y'all gonna let me miss that, huh? Make sure I get it from all sides and all angles. clean now that little house wash post treatment I put or the pre post treatment rather whatever you want to call it it actually turned out really well clean shiny no more bugs and crud you can barely see the stripes so once I put a six percent on there that's going to look really well out here soaping on the last side isn't it just so glamorous huh washing houses is glamorous it's fun don't get me wrong but glamorous, Ooh, that's a stretch. I don't know what kind of shake siding that is, but there's some lichen right up here on this lip. We're gonna let it dwell for a little while, see if it does anything. House wash does really good about cleaning houses. I mean, that's what it is, right? It's house wash, house mix. Oh, yummy, dirt daubers. That's one thing I despise, dirt daubers. Don't worry, I'm gonna go up in there and soap all in there. I'm just not doing it with my camera. Covered in SH. It's already trying to splash out on me. Oh, it's hot today. Hot, hot, hot. This means we're getting a really fast reaction on all of this. You also have to be careful though when it's really hot because you can streak some windows for sure. We're not trying to do that. Yes, we soaked the bricks too. I like to soak it all. Got my hoses all laid out to shoot the roof. Turn on the pump to prime it. This right here is just spraying. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. First thing we're gonna do is turn off the SH, flush out this line. Being as I don't have any electronics in that box, I'm just going to turn it on and let it spray and just flush out. Wonderful. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to take care of that and then I'll get back with you guys. A rookie mistake on my part. You know, my last video I said two is one and one is none and that's the case on this job. The only thing I need to fix that pump is a little bitty part, man. And I don't have one. Don't know why I don't have one, but I don't have one. So talk to the client they want to just push till monday i told her look we can come back 
this afternoon and finish it. Currently 12.33, but they wanna go ahead and wait. That's what we're gonna do. They did go ahead and pay me. Either way, we're gonna get the roof done, all of that fun stuff. We're gonna get the pump fit. Um, I did get a couple before and afters, as you can see here. Turned out really, really good. The gutters were nasty, got them cleaned out. So, as you can tell, made it back to the house. Bypasses, peeing a little bit of water. I got to get me a fancy little plug, like uh, some of you guys have. Stop that drool. Gotta make me one, but anyways. Half inch nipple right there broke. So, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Well, I mean, I can break it all the way off, I reckon. Pretty easy removal. So I have a, a nipple in here, different type right there. Unfortunately, what I don't have is another one. I didn't have any in any of my kits. None, none, none. So anyways, probably gonna be a run to the hardware store or I'm gonna steal one from somewhere else. For some reason, doing work in the field always sucks a thousand times more than doing work at home, at your shop. Take the fitting off of this, replace it, flap this puppy back in there. Talk to the client, and I know that she told me that I could come Monday, but Monday's Memorial Day, and I have some stuff on the schedule for tomorrow morning, but I moved that around, so I'm gonna go first thing in the morning, shoot that roof. Something that's a minor inconvenience to you can shut you down if you're not prepared today unfortunately i was not prepared this pump has been pretty good to me i've been using this same pump for this is going on my fourth year the next day it is 7 34. i just went ahead and put a cam lock in there um got it all situated all put back together tested it out runs good all set up out here i've got the hose all laid out ready to go I'm gonna start over here, shoot that roof first. Then we're gonna shoot this roof over here, around the back, all that good stuff. I already got my ladder set up right here to get that little boogie down. A brush, reach up there, grab that stuff, get it down. I'll be able to shoot the peak from there, shoot this whole section. I can shoot that over here from the ground before it gets hot. It is currently 8.09, here we go. Well, I got the boogie down with old handy dandy coated that side so the overspray isn't that terrible. I just got this section here to, to shoot. Shot all of that, shot everything in the front, shot the back, front of the house. This is my last section here to do. done roof looks good I went ahead and hit this spot with a second application it still had a little bit of streaks um, kind of dark and you know when in doubt shoot it out there's the uh, the sand if it's black it'll be back if it's brown it's coming down so try not to leave anything up there dark and discolored it is 844 about 35 minutes something like that no leaks here, everything held up good. As you can see, nice and sweaty for the day now. I'm gonna roll up these hoses, I'm gonna head out. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you guys wouldn't mind, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, YouTube stuff, and uh, we'll catch you next week. Peace.